Kevin. Morning, Eddie. Why you at the desk? In your cheap trick t-shirt. Melody had to step away. What brings you all the way down here to the main office today? Did somebody else complain about you? Nobody complained about me. I have a presentation to give and then I have an interview up on 16 later on. Look, my ID isn't open in the door. Do you mind buzzing me in? Do you have a picture ID? Well, if I have my badge. Which isn't working. But it's got my picture on it. That just means it belongs to you. It doesn't mean you are who you say you are. Then you called me by my name. I helped you get this job. What, so you think I owe you something? Well, no, but you know who I am. That is true. Well, that's about all I have. I'd like to thank you all for, for coming. Does anybody have any questions or anything you'd like to add? Sal? No, I mean, it sounds like you have a solid plan there, Kevin. I'm all for it. I'm, I'm on board. I have some concerns about funding, but other than that, I'm with you. Well, I think it sucks. You know, you can't lead a fish to water. Well, Wesley, I, I, I want to hear what you have to say about why you think this sucks. But before that, I want to ask Johnny here, did you just say you can't lead a fish to water? Yeah, you know, it's a saying. Nobody says that. That's not a saying. Sayings are supposed to mean something. They don't always make sense, though. Like, why would you have cake if you couldn't eat it? It is what it is. Why would you lie in a bed that you just made? Or tomorrow is another day. Well, they might not make any sense, but at least you know what those mean. I'm just asking you, did you like it or did you not? Was it good or bad? I think I was trying to stay as neutral as possible. Oh, this is awesome. I have the whole elevator all to myself. How often does this happen? I'm unstoppable. This early in the morning, I bet I go all the way up to the 16th floor without one other stop. Oh, hey. Hi. Hey. How's it going? Oh, about the same as ever. You? I'm kind of nervous. I'm interviewing for a new position up in Data Integrity later today. Oh, yeah. Hey, me too. I'm on my way up there now. Well, I hope you do well. Well, thank you. I mean, I, I, I want to say that I hope you do well, but I, I'll be happy for you if you get it and I don't. Fair enough. Hey, Earl. Hey, Pearl. I thought you were on vacation. No, that's not until the 12th. How was your vacation last week? Well, we had fun, but my girlfriend forgot the ferry tickets, so we had to go back to the end of the line, and it took a long time to cross the river. Yeah, I recall one year, we had to leave early because of a hurricane warning. Well, I hope you have better luck this year. Yeah, I hope the earth doesn't open up and swallow you whole. Wait, why would you say that? I, well, I just thought we were doing a bit, you know. Bad things happen on vacation. I was just piling on. But why would you wish that on someone you don't even know? I didn't wish it on you. I said I hope it doesn't happen. Well, hey, Deb, I didn't know you worked here. Well, hey, Kevin, I don't work here. I'm just assisting one of the attorneys on the seventh floor. Yeah, I work at the Chicken Park office normally, but I'm here for an interview for a new position. Oh, one of the guys upstairs is interviewing for that one, too. Hey, so am I. Well, this is my floor. Good luck, all of you. Well, I love you, too. I said all of you. Kevin, come in. Did you find the place okay? Oh yeah, I come down here every so often. I'm, I'm usually working in Chicken Park, but I had a presentation to make this morning down on the second floor. And how did that go? Well, I was making a proposal and I got a little pushback. Well, I think it sucks. So how long have you been with Modern Global Security Data Concept Solutions? Well, I started out nine years ago with critical analysis operations, and I did some work on data projections on all the resource markets up through 2032. So I was really proud of the work I did on that. And then about four years ago, I transferred into the platform ops team at the corporate financial and business services division, where I've been uh, managing analysis on 12 tetrahedrons of the 6420s, working with the resource technology support team. Well, that's impressive. It sounds like a lot of work. You come highly recommended. I like your resume. I've spoken to your boss, Behrman. So I'm encouraged, but I do have a few questions. First of all, have you ever worked in a legal environment? You don't need a law degree, but you will need a basic understanding. 
Well, I have seen every episode of Law & Order like 150 times, so I'm practically a lawyer. You know, I mean, I couldn't represent you in court or anything. Yeah, for that you'd have to pass the bar. Oh, I could pass the bar, just from the Law & Order stuff. But we won't be asking you to prosecute a homicide, but I appreciate your confidence. There is one question I'd like to ask all the candidates. Would you rather be eaten by a wolf or a bear? Oh, wolf. That was quick. Explain why the wolf. Well, I mean, bears are cute. You know, they tell you bedtime stories and ride tricycles in the circus and sell fabric softener. And, and if they're not being cute, they're off doing something useful like preventing forest fires. You know, a wolf will eat you because that's just what wolves do. But when a bear attacks, you know, there's two sides to that story. Well, hey there, Kevin. Uh, hey there, um, Deb. So how'd your interview go? Well, I'm not really sure, actually. Did he ask you one of those psychological questions, like what kind of tree would you be, or what would you change if you could go back in time? Well, yeah. I mean, he asked me, would I rather be eaten by a bear or a wolf? Well, I hope you said bear. Oh, is that supposed to be the right answer? That's what I've heard. Something to do with leadership? Really? That's one of those psychology things where, like, if you think about one thing, it secretly means something else. Actually, I thought it was one of those things. I just didn't know what the answer was supposed to be. But I don't get it, you know? Because a wolf will go right for your throat, you know? A bear will play games with you. And plus, you know, people make friends with bears. If a bear attacks you, you've done something wrong, you know? So you would take it personally if a bear attacked you? Well, no, but... You know, wouldn't you at least be curious? Why is this bear attacking me? Why is he not stealing picnic baskets? Well, I'm just afraid the wolf would enjoy it too much. Yeah, I can see that. Well, Kevin, I'm, I'm just glad that things aren't awkward between us. Oh, oh, you mean from before when... When you said you loved me. Hey, it was just a gut reflex to the words, okay? I wasn't committing to anything. Well, we'll just keep it between us. Sure, and the other two, though we're on the elevator with us. All right, we're done here.